Sweet lady of our holy She's sitting by the highway yeah, Selling her papaya Green and ripe banana And breakfast with bar Breakfast with bar Breakfast with bar Poncho Man! A round of applause for our man, Poncho Man! We are brought to you by EAS Sports Nutrition by Hoka One One Polar Oska Wellness Velo Fix. We'll have our championship edition at Four Seasons Hualalai, and we are on triathlonworld.com. Our guest, Ironman World Champion, and a woman who just won Challenge Roth as well, won two Ironman races in one week, Daniela Reef. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Always so much fun to chat with you. So this year was a little different because you were hoping validate in Frankfurt but it was freezing well I mean it wasn't freezing but uh, my body was freezing your so body was freezing <laughs> yes it was um, yeah it was tough uh, sometimes things doesn't don't work out how you plan it and right. so uh, we made new plans and uh, yeah and then we we thought it might be a good challenge to do something different and that's why we uh, did Roth and Zurich and I'm, I'm glad I could finish the second one otherwise I wouldn't be here right now so uh, that was a lot of pressure because challenge Roth is an amazing event, but it's not a, it's not, you can't validate for this race there. But you went there and what'd you go, 821, something like that? Yes, 22 yeah. maybe, I'm yeah, not yeah. quite sure. But, yeah. but only a couple minutes off of the course record. Had an amazing day, but then, that's a full marathon. A week later, you're in Zurich doing another full distance race, and that race you had to do to get here. How hard was it to run two full iron distance events in one week? Yeah, it was um, surprising. Uh, I mean, before the race, you know, I, I didn't know if it was possible. I, it yes. was definitely a big challenge. And um, we figured we should do something if I can handle that. Yes. Or I knew if I can finish that, I'll be, it would make me stronger. And um, so that's always with challenges, you know, when you actually um, surprise yourself or you, you do better than you actually think you can. Right. It's, uh, it's a great thing. And it definitely helped for my, for my head as well, because I... It gave me a bit of, of course, race practice yes. and also, yeah, it makes you stronger. What, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, I guess. So, um, no, it was a great experience and also to just get out, get out there and especially after the race where you can't finish. That's yes. for me, it was something really, um, yeah, frustrating because I, if I start, I want to finish that race and give my, my best and yes. in Frankfurt, I couldn't. And so that why, that's why it was good to go to Roth and, and just yeah have fun and, and enjoy it and, and race fast so you were two-time olympian and you were seventh in 2008 and 40th i think in 2012 at the olympics when you moved to the longer distance you had success right away did you think that you would be this good at long distance um no i i never yeah, you never know. Right. Like you, I just know knew I liked to do long runs and I like to do long rides. Yeah. And yeah, I I started to do the non-drafting again and I I what I um appreciated is that you actually yeah, you do your own thing. You it really counts on you. Um when right. you have a yeah, when you show the performance, then you're going to be up there somewhere in the front. Um if you don't show the performance, you're not there up there in the front. And I think that's yeah, it's very fair and and um yeah, and then I did some halves, and I was thinking maybe one day I'll do an Ironman. And and with yeah, with Brett having as a co him as a coach, it went a bit faster <laughs> than I uh, expected uh, to go into long distance. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, but you had success right away with the long yeah, distance. Yeah, I mean, you also train hard and a lot for IT racing. I think yes. my hours used to not be much less we might oh, have run more case in running for example yes um, than i do now at the moment so you, you have some volume to do as well for to be fast on 10k and so i think that definitely helped yeah it's a long process i mean right. i started with 14 and that's yeah a long time ago so you kind of improve every year or you try to improve every year last year you had one of those epic seasons where you win 70.3 worlds you win uh, Ironman worlds and you win the triple crown a million dollar triple crown Th that's a hard season to follow up when uh, when you finish a season like that uh, was it difficult to get up for this season 
Well, the season actually kept going till January. It so, really uh, yeah, did, didn't it? <laughs> it did, yes, yeah. So, with, yeah. No, it was it was an amazing season. I think it was, yeah, probably the most exciting season I've had. I mean, um, yeah. Or anybody has had. <laughs> I <Yeah>. don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's, I can only speak for myself and what I experienced. Yes. And I just um, really enjoyed, of course, winning here in Kona was um, absolutely special. Um, having, you know, my family and friends around here and, and sharing that win. Yes. Um, and with the team is, is very special and to actually achieve it. And, yes. And um, yeah, bef because before the race, a lot of people said, yeah, you're going to win it. And yeah, you have to do it first. And <laughs> then to do it is a great, great thing and or a great feeling. And and then, yeah, of course, the Triple Crown was it was full on till December. Right. And, yeah, that was also very special, like to have, um, yeah, three such great races to uh, actually show your best performance possible. And then, yeah, I kept going to January and that's where we took the break. So um, it took a bit. Yeah, I, I didn't feel tired from my body so yes. much, um, but definitely when I came home in J December, I had lots of other things and to do and you kind of have to organize yourself a bit, which definitely took a bit in the beginning of the year. Um, yes. You have to. Yeah, see, uh, there's there's new things coming when when uh, success is there, and that uh, was also an exciting part, of course. So, the first time you come here, uh, you you take second place, and you only got here a few days before the race. Really didn't know that much about the. I remember we were sitting, talking, and you're like, "So is this where the run goes?" <laughs> you, you, you really didn't know that much about the race course. What surprised you? Because you've been to Olympics and the, all the pageantry that goes with the Olympics. When you first came here, were you surprised at the, just the feeling here uh, and how big of an event it is? Yeah, it's definitely a huge event. I think it's, I would call it uh, the big festival of triathlon every year. Yes. And, and um, also, yeah, so many people having the same passion in such a little place, um, in a beautiful place. Yes. It makes it very unique. And um, when I came here first, it was, it was definitely a lot, you know, going on and um, I think it was good to just come here and go out there and right. not think too much. Um, as a rookie, um, it was definitely also a great experience. Um, now I, I've, I'd, I also appreciate now to know where about the hills are, and so you know a bit more what what to expect. Yes. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's in Ironman. It's not. It's also not so bad if you don't if you can't think too much ahead, if you're just in the moment. So mm -hmm. I think that was for the first year was, was a good thing to do, yeah. Yeah, and coming here after winning 70.3 Worlds, really your expectations uh, didn't have to be, obviously every time you go to the line you want to win, but taking second in your first time out was, was, a, was a great thing, considering your goal was 70.3 Worlds. Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, a great battle. I yes. uh, I can definitely say that when I crossed that finish line, I gave my all and everything. Yes. And that's always my big goal. If I go and race, I I want to really leave it out there, and that's yeah, that's what I did in the first year, and that's why I was also, of course, in the beginning I was a little bit disappointed because it was so close. Yes. But it was it was a great battle, and um, I know I gave my all my best, and. Um, yeah, maybe we'll see another battle um, this Saturday, I don't know, and then I'll definitely give my best again and hopefully then uh, maybe uh, run away from, from the other person, whoever that might be. Whoever that might be. <laughs> okay. So speaking of whoever that might be, there's Brenda Carfrey, two years ago was 14.30 down on the bike, off the bike and, and ran her way into the, to, to win her, her third title. And last year was injured before the race and then dropped out during the race. Uh, Obviously, you like to race the best when they're at their best. Are you looking forward to Saturday because Marinda's back, and uh, you know she she didn't get to compete last year? So uh, I'm guessing that you like the fact that she's here ready to race. Yeah, of course. I mean, she's an amazing athlete. She's shown so much consistency over the last years, yeah. and her run is always there. So I um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm sure she will show a great run again. So if I wanna win, I have to also say show a great bike or a, a good bike and a great run. So yeah, I I, um, I have a lot of respect from her. And last year, unfortunately, she yeah she had to pull out because of other reasons. And yes. that's you yeah you want you want to measure against the best. And um, I think uh, it's definitely a, a good very good field here. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a long and a very hard day. Yeah. <laughs> Do you look at the uh, Do you look at the other athletes in terms of 
going online and looking what their times and things like that are, or do you primarily just focus on you? Um, no, I don't try to analyze the others too much. Yes. Uh, when you race, you see what they do, and um, I can only focus on what I do in every session yes. and then what I do in the race. And I, of course, I know all the, the others can bike, they can run, and they can swim. And um, yeah, that's all. That's all that um, what matters. You have to show your performance, and, sure. and then yeah, measure yourself in the moment. How, how did winning this race? Did did winning this race change your life? Did it did, did it impact you in terms of more sponsors, more awareness back home? Uh, how did it change things for you? Yeah, it was it was. Mm, like because I went straight to Thailand and then to Bahrain, yes. I only came home in December. So when I came home, I was actually quite shocked or surprised how <laughs> much how much um, attention I I got through yeah December, January, March, April. Um, so it's yeah it was definitely um, a huge thing. I never expect I ne I didn't know so many people would follow it and yes um, yeah. So you, when I came home and suddenly people talking to you in the supermarket or in, in the street it's uh, it was yeah a bit um, unusual but uh, yeah it was also very nice to see how yeah especially in Switzerland they were really proud and very happy and and then um, select or how do you vote to me for the yes. sport sports woman of the year yes and that was yeah it's a huge honor as a triathlete to be sports woman of the year uh, in Switzerland that is very cool and so going into, like you said, you did two full Ironmans, and then you went to Ironman 70.3 Worlds. I think you were fourth there. Yes. And were you, were you happy with that race? Um, no, not really. I mean, I learned a lot from it. What did you learn? <laughs> it was, um, well, it was the first time I didn't get away on the bike for, yes. a, for a while. Yes. And um, that was, yeah, that was kind of new. And I didn't feel too bad. I just, I pushed and I just, the others were also strong. And, right. And um, yeah, you have to, your mind has to kind of adjust and say, okay, what, what do you do? <laughs> and uh, it didn't really cross my mind that you can win a race in the run because I never had to. Right. And um, that was a mistake. I, I kind of, when I started the run, I was kind of just, yeah, I'll get into it instead of just really trying to attack it and from the start. Yes. And yeah, that's that was probably um, the yeah. It was a good kind of a wake up call. Learning that, experience learning for you. That, yeah, in any race, what happens? Like for example, on the bike, the race is only finished in the finish. So, right. And yeah, I believe I, I showed a few good ra runs as well in the last couple of years. And yeah, I'll definitely have that in my mind for this race. Uh, there's that after the bike, there's still three hours to uh, also make up ground if you have to. So I mean, th what what makes people, uh, what makes athletes great is when they can adapt and change. Because sometimes things happen out there, right? You might not have the greatest swimmer bike ride. Uh, is do you feel that your running is better now than it was a year ago? Um, yeah, I felt. I mean, we were in Sheshu for three weeks, uh -huh. and um, I've had some really good sessions there. So it makes me confident. I I definitely think I. My running has gone better over a marathon. Yes. Um, I might not be as fast. Um, I, I was definitely very fast last year as well on the half, hour, half the marathon. The first half, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, for Ironman, it's definitely also the strength. And I think, especially with maybe Ruff, yeah, with Ruff and Zurich, that gave me a lot of confidence and also probably strength for the run because I, yeah, I could, especially in Ruff, have a good run there as well, which, yeah, which helps if you if you can have good results for your head, you know, it's exactly. always... Exactly. Uh, Would you prefer for race day, do you want it hot and windy and, you know, all, all the, uh, the the tougher the, tougher the conditions, the better? What what works best for you? Or do you care? Um, yeah, I guess the tougher, the better. Um, the wind is definitely... If it's hard in the wind, uh, with the wind, you have to just push these big gears. Yes. And that's... Um, I like the big gears. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> um, please, wind, show up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel, now that you're feeling more confident in your run, do you feel that, okay, I need X amount of minutes off the bike to beat someone like a Marinda Carfrey or potentially a Melissa Hall shoot? Or do you feel like, you know what, whatever happens, I can, if I need to win this race on the run, I feel I can do that? Um, yeah, I feel, I feel like that's the best, the better attitude instead of saying I need to get that many minutes yes. to be able to to hold, like to make it to the finish as, as the first or to hold the gap. So. My yeah, my 
my uh, point of view should sh for the race should be I am gonna do the bike and then whatever happens I um, yeah I wanna I wanna show that I can also run and uh, I hope I can show it yeah <laughs> what would it mean to you to win this race for the second time There's a lot of people not a lot uh, a number of people have won this race once but once you start winning it two and potentially three times it, it sort of changes the perception of, of uh, someone as an athlete yeah it's definitely a challenge it's um, probably it's definitely just as hard as winning it for the first time yes um, but I see it a bit as last time I really wanted to win um, because I really wanted to have this title and it yes. was just such a big race to me and now I see it as I have the opportunity again to win again um, I mean you've done it once so yeah you might be able to do it twice so yeah I don't know it's I definitely think it's it's a huge race and um, it would mean yeah it would mean a lot to to be able to experience that again or to ex make new experience here um, but it's yeah it's one one of the hardest races and yeah it's not gonna be it's not gonna be easy at all <laughs> that when you're Ironman world champion you're sort of the leader of the sport right people people look to you as the you know you're, you're wearing the crown as a as the leader of the sport more so than even the Olympic gold medalist I think did did was this has it been enjoyable being the Ironman world champion because I'm sure a lot more like you said more notoriety and and people value your opinion more when you're Ironman world champion and yeah I'm not sure if my opinion is is worth more I mean it's not that I know more than right. last year um so yeah I I think it's yeah it's definitely great to see that people um have respect for what you do or yes. what uh, they um, they also fan with you. They're really yes. proud or happy if you have a good race, and they're really excited that how you race. Um, that's yeah. Some it's yeah. It's nice to have these. Um, how do you call it? Um, when you meet people and they they, they know you. Yeah, no, yeah. More, or they're fans. No, they're more like having these um, experiences that they really care as well. Yes. It's, uh, it's, um, yeah, it's nice. They're more than just friends, right? Yeah, they, well, they, they share the same passion. And, and um, if you can also maybe... Um, well, my English is getting worse. No, um, your English is fine. <laughs> I'm, looking for, I'm looking for words. Um, I meant if you, if you can make them inspired yes. um, by if, what you do or yes. that's um i mean that's always the biggest honor you can get from someone so the year before you came down to lee drive in second place and you were very excited about that last year coming down in first place how special was that for you yeah that's i mean i can't really describe it it's when you like pass queen k and then turn into palani then that's kind of where you yeah, I, that's where I knew I have it. Um, I remember Susie staying there and saying, oh, Brad is so proud and uh, my coach. And, yes. um, yeah, it was just all this work you put in and then you, you're starting to realize, okay, now I just can run it home and enjoy it. And, and then especially um, having, yeah, my mom and my friend and my um, supporting team, yes. Robbie and all these people in the finish um, and then actually achieve it is um, yeah it's very very special congratulations and have a have an awesome race on Saturday we're Thank gonna you. be looking forward to it thanks Daniela Reef everybody 2015 Ironman world champion Pancho man take us out Lady of my holy, sitting by the highway selling her papaya Bananas, watching breakfast with Bob. Breakfast with Bob. Breakfast with Bob and then yellow. Wow. Oh. <laughs>